Now, of course, there are a host of other reasons why you could have ED all the way from just physical to psychological, but if you're missing this nutrient, you need to get it. Hey, if you're missing this one nutrient, then your testosterone, your sex drive, your immune system, even severe cases of acne are going to take a hit. So today what I'm going to do is break down the power of zinc and why you need it in your life. Because if you're one of the 25 to 50% of people who are missing this essential nutrient, then you're going to keep running into issues. But like all things, there are side effects, there are consequences if you take things too far. Also, you wanna make sure you know the other nutrients that you can take that also optimize the power of zinc, especially if you're looking to increase your testosterone levels. And there are a whole bunch of other benefits of having zinc in your life. Hey, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Uncle B, and for the last 21 years, I've been the men's performance coach with African Fly, and what I do is just basically tell the truth about what you need in your life so you can have better sexual performance, better sexual health. And I have over 150 videos on my channel that you can check out. You can get a ton of information from all of them. So, if you want to, go ahead and hit that like button, but what I'm going to do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. Okay, so what is zinc? Well, zinc is a essential nutrient, basically meaning your body cannot create it itself. It has to get it from outside sources. And it is the second most abundant mineral in your body. Now, there are a huge number of benefits of having zinc in your life. The number one being, of course, your immune system. It is so powerful, it can reduce a cold's duration from like about 33%. So basically, if you have a cold for that would have lasted for nine days, it'll be cut down to three days. And it also helps us reduce inflammation. And of course, inflammation is part of all of the different chronic diseases that can be in your body. One of the other benefits is that it keeps your blood sugar at a steady rate. So basically, it improves insulin sensitivity. And for my guys who are having severe cases of acne, it can help reduce that significantly. And one of the other things it does is reduces cholesterol and triglycerides. So that helps protect against heart attacks and strokes. Zinc also slows macular degeneration in your eyes. Basically, it slows down the process of you getting blind in your older age. Of course, that's not the only thing that's involved in it, but zinc definitely helps prevent it. Now, of course, what we always talk about is what zinc does for your testosterone, and it helps out as part of the formation of testosterone. So with that, you're going to get that virility, that sex drive, that improvement in overall health. Now, unfortunately, 25 to 50% of people are zinc deficient. Zinc is necessary for optimal growth repair. And one of the crazy things is that lack of zinc is actually related to depression. Now, for my guys who are not getting that zinc in their life, well, the testosterone is going to be down and also your sperm count is going to be down. Now, of course, some guys are going to hear this is like, all right, I need to go ahead and get some zinc and just pound that zinc in so I can get that testosterone and all the other benefits of it. Hold up, because it's always an issue if you take things too far. Because used in high doses, whoo, it can cause a whole bunch of issues that you don't want, number one being herpes. You'll get stomach pains, you'll get bloating, diarrhea, gout, and allergies. And one of the other crazy things, it will actually lower your blood pressure. That's not good for your erections at all. Now, for my fellas, every time you ejaculate, you're losing zinc. That's the reason why it is suggested getting between 9.5 and 11 milligrams of zinc per day. Now, a study in the Journal of Nutrition showed that men who were taking zinc, who already had low levels of zinc, who took zinc actually doubled their testosterone levels. Now, zinc can come from animal foods like oysters and red meat, but you're also going to get the other things that comes along with that. So we're talking about the animal fats, higher cholesterol, etc. And that sort of goes against the whole purpose of this. Now you can get it in pill form, but 
please make sure you're not taking it on an empty stomach. I tried that before. It is painful. You don't want that. And you may notice that when you get the pills, it may come in a higher dosage. That's because when you're taking something in pill form, not all of it gets into your system. When you take a pill, it has to go through your stomach lining, has to be broken down, et cetera, et cetera. So you're not necessarily going to get the full dosage that they're saying. So sometimes you get a pill that says 15 milligrams, you'll be okay. Now using zinc in combination with other vitamins and minerals such as vitamin D, such as magnesium, and also yohimbe, which is in African fly, can help a great deal. Now the best way to take it, of course, natural products. We're talking about beans, nuts, legumes, seeds, and whole grains. For example, a serving of broccoli contains 11 milligrams of zinc. That's all you need, just a serving of broccoli a day, zinc is good now let's talk about when you're having problems with erectile dysfunction a part of that could be zinc in recent years the testing has shown that a part of erectile dysfunction is zinc deficiency now of course there are a host of other reasons why you could have ed all the way from just physical to psychological but if you're missing this nutrient you need to get it a 1996 study showed a clear connection between zinc and testosterone levels. A 2013 study showed a connection between your sense of smell and zinc. So it's sort of necessary, especially for younger guys, that sense of smell connects you to that person that helps with that sex drive, that pheromones and things like that. So you need that sense of smell, so you need that zinc. Now for my guys who have, and I get this question a lot, it's like, well, my testosterone's fine, but I'm still having issues with erectile dysfunction that could be a deficiency in zinc. So confession time, fellas, do you have an issue with zinc and have you had it tested? And if you have, leave some comments below let us know your experience and please do me a favor guys hit that like button if you like the content that helps us spread the word around and make sure to check out the next video that we have coming up and check out the past videos i've done it's 150 of them you're going to find some interesting information there some stuff you've never heard anywhere else hey this is your uncle b saying get your game up and peace out